is a quick tutorial on how to install Joomla onto your site using GoDaddy's installation wizard. So I'm at GoDaddy and I'm going to log in. And I'm going to go to my account. So I'll click on that, my account. Now I'm going to go to account, hosting account list. So I'm going to click here, hosting account list, right here. And I'm going to have this under my main website called aliyyrobinson.com. So I'm going to click on manage account right here. So now I'm going to click on, you can go here to your applications, or you can also go under content and GoDaddy hosting connection. It's the same um, location. So I'll click here. Okay, so Joomla is a content management system application so we're going to click on content management and there are several different choices to pick from but we're going to pick Joomla that's what we want so I'll click Joomla okay so here we have a description of what Joomla is and we have a button where it says install now so we're going to install Joomla now so we're going to click that install now and it's processing that request okay so as I said before I'm going to put this site under my main website aliyahrobinson.com so I'm going to click that and since I already have hosting for that site I don't need to purchase any compatible hosting as there's a choice here so I'm going to skip that part the compatible hosting part I'm going to continue on to the next step so I'm going to click continue here if you hadn't already purchased hosting for the domain name you would have to click purchase compatible hosting okay now they want me to set up the database uh, Joomla is based on MySQL database and they use PHP as a server-side language so they've already set up a username and database name here so I'm just gonna go and copy that onto a notepad so control C I'm copying that at the moment to a notepad file so that I, re I remember what that is if I ever need that again. Uh, description just for your own general knowledge of what this database is for. It is a, a Joomla site Okay, I just described it as the dummy company that I'm creating for this tutorial. Uh, the company would be called Abstract Tease. And I need a password for my database, which is named this name up here. So I'll use my password that I like to use. And I would uh, write that down somewhere else also or paste it onto a notepad file so that you can remember the password and I'll click next
and it's going to go under my main website, but I'm going to call it the name of the company that I'm making up for this tutorial. Uh, normally you would just, I'm assuming you would want your Joomla site to be seen as soon as someone types in your domain name. So in that case you would not have anything there. You would just leave that blank. Uh, but in this case, I'm just making this site as a tutorial. So it can go under my main site. Um, there are other ways, reasons why someone would want a sub, uh, a sub path. Uh, it's probably the wrong word to use, but uh, if you would go to Cartoon Network's Adult Swim.com, they tend to have an advertisement on their first page that goes to their site, and in that case, you would want a sub folder to put your actual site under and just have your main site to be a clickable image or animation or just an animation that says enter site here and then you would click on that and it would go to they've called their sub site index2.html so okay get out of that <laughs> so Art is called Abstract Tees, excuse me, and that's the name of it, and that's how we want to install it, not like this for now. So I'll click Next. And I will add that sometimes they don't add, ask you for your database information. Sometimes they do it on their own. I don't know why. Um, but it's good to see every step as showing you now. Okay. So now they want you to configure your administration name and password. You're going to need that to log into the site. Um, especially if you're going to have the site offline for a while until you finish building it you're gonna every time you need to preview the site you're gonna have to excuse me every time you preview the site you're gonna have to use your administration name and password so um, I'll just use my no actually abstract admin and I'll always give them my email address. As the administrator's email address to send information to. So I'll finish. And copy all this information somewhere you're gonna need as I said before, you're gonna need it to log in. I just clicked finished. And that's it. Uh, you're done. It's going to take a few minutes for Joomla to build a database that you've um, started. And then you will be able to get onto your site, which I will go over in the next tutorial. And you can see, click on my applications right here. And you can see that it's installed abstract tees Joomla under that path. And right now the status is creating database. I've created a few others under different in the same and different domains. And since it's free, you can just keep doing it as much as you want. And um, you can just keep refreshing this site for the next few minutes 
take about 10-15 minutes tops I believe and it should soon stay installed and then if you want to move forward in actually building the site you can check out the next tutorial on how to um, build a site with Joomla. Okay, thank you.